Hi guys, so today we'll learn how to create this uh, grid image view and we'll make this tab bar interact with the scroll view that when you scroll to the bottom will disappear and if you scroll back to the top will appear I have worked more on this tab bar so to make it more dynamic so you can use it easily to your project so if you for example now you have four let's just make it three tab as you see it will be resized to the three tabs let's just make it two maybe you want just two tabs now we have two and maybe you want five this work just fine and this one will be viable only on Patreons. Let's start with creating the image view. I will create a new view. Name it image. Name it image grid view. And we need array of image and start index. You will know why we need this start index later. We'll just delete this. Let's start with lazy v start columns. Will be flexible. We'll just delete all this here. Need an image. So we just M one, and I will display the image here. Image, create a view. I need array of image. So images one to the zero sizable cell clip shape inside rectangle ten. I do need a frame one eight seven by three hundred. Let's just repeat this using for each images to indices ID dot self. We need indices so to give each image a number of type int. By the numbers of indices, we can control the image height. We need a function get height will be for index. This is the index index of type end because we're using indices return as cg float because the height type of cg float and the return index the number of the image plus start index to if you equal zero will be one fifty else three hundred and here we just pass the gate height 
pass in the index and here will be images index so now we have a small one big one like 150 300 150 300 so we need two of them do it e stack space spacing zero and the padding horizontal three so now both start with small big so the second one this one I want to start with one that's mean it's 300 so now we have big one small one and so on let's do this inside scroll view so now you see we have here empty because this one's 300 this one 15 so we'll push it to the bottom so all we need is just another scroll view So now both same. It just make this array two. So we can see both. Now let's start creating this scroll view. So when we scroll to the bottom, the top bar will disappear, and then we scroll to the top. You can you see again the top bar. I need tab bar offset and last scroll view by direction Y. So let's just pass the tab bar. Come next zero. We just comment this. Now we have no errors. So to know which direction we are on the top or the bottom, we need geometry either. Geo N. We give it a color, clear, on change. here geo dot frame in global min y let's name this a new y direction if a new y less than last scroll will be tab bar scroll equal 180 else if a new y direction greater than last scroll tab bar will be zero And we sign last to the a new direction. So now on the home view, I will just pass the content view and the tab bar offset we have here v stack with a spacer pushing the top up to the bottom and the offset tapper offset that we get from the content view from the geometry reader 
and here the animation so now when we scroll to the bottom as you see the sphere again appear and you can make it slower if you want like one second we can 